Folks gathered at vigils across this country to pay tribute today to the victims of Saturday's Pittsburgh synagogue massacre that left 11 dead, six others wounded, including four police officers. Memorial ceremonies were held in Minnesota, Indiana, Utah, Washington State, California, and here in Colorado, showing a showing of solidarity in locations all over the country and just one of the ways people are coping with this heinous act of hate. Here in Colorado Springs, hundreds gathered at Temple Shalom to pray and honor those lives lost. But faith leaders also calling for people to act and spread a message of hope. News 5 Sam Kramer was at tonight's vigil. He is live with more on this message. Sam. Yeah, this temple here behind me, it's more than 1300 miles away from the Tree of Life Synagogue. That's where Saturday's shooting happened. Still, the parishioners here, they feel the pain. They have friends that belong to that synagogue and hope this hate driven violence will come to an end. What a terrible thing to say. We live in a country where there's freedom of religion. And to have freedom of religion, we need to have security for our religion. By the string of a violin and the power of prayer, Peace from the heavens. Temple Shalom became a house of remembrance and of hope Monday night to honor the lives of 11 Jews gone too soon. Jews in synagogue praying who were murdered. And we need to remember them, but we also need to call attention to the entire community that it's time that we speak out against hate speech and we speak out against hate. Faith leaders like Rabbi Jay Sherwood gave sermons, as did Muslim and Christian leaders, a sign of unity amid divisive times. It's amazing. It's something that should be. We shouldn't be at each other's throats. We shouldn't be anti anybody. The temple even ran out of seating for the vigil, but for people like Sharon Kushner, donning a pin that honors the Israeli athletes killed at the 1972 Munich Olympics, the lack of seating didn't matter. This is my home, away from home. I'm a dedicated member of Temple Shalom, and I just really needed to be here. She wasn't alone. Police Chief Pete Carey came too, as did other elected officials, as a group of diverse people remembered those killed in the latest mass shooting and hoping the violence will soon end. In this room tonight, there is no one correct religion. There is no one correct political party. It's all of Colorado Springs coming together to say we have hope and we want to be in a world where there's love and not hate. Now, at the end of tonight's vigil, they read aloud the names of the 11 people killed for all to hear and pay their respects. Now, those names were accompanied by 11 white roses left anonymously here on the temple steps this morning. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. I'm Sam Kramer, News 5.